Hey, what's up, folks? How's it going? This is Watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. So last week, we released our initial video for the RTX 3060. We had the MSI Gaming X Trio version of the card, and we did a quick baseline comparison between the RTX 3060 Ti from Zotec. But here in this video, we're going to go through some more benchmark results, specifically comparing the 3060 to the previous generation RTX 2060 that I recently acquired. And we're also going to be comparing all these cards with my old trust. GTX 980 that's been with me for over six years just as a kind of budget uh, comparison because you could pick these cards up easily for under $200. Now, firstly, in terms of the basic specification differences between all four cards, you can see that on the RTX 2060, we have a lot less CUDA cores, 1920 compared to 3580 on the newer generation 3060 card. And uh, comparing the GTX 980 is obviously gonna be uh, kind of tricky because you are dealing with over six year old technology. And obviously the newer generation cards are gonna be a lot more faster, more capable, but the real question is by how much? Because effectively, the newer generation cards and even the RTX 2060 are super hard to get these days but there's plenty of the old GTX 1900 series cards available in the used secondhand market and uh, hopefully this video will give you some sort of idea in terms of how the newer cards compare against the older generation. Now it's obviously important to note that the GTX cards don't have any ray tracing capabilities so a synthetic benchmark results and games that utilize ray tracing will be omitted from the results for the 980 but we're going to have plenty of non-ray tracing benchmarks to show you guys. Now, we're going to first run through the synthetic benchmark results from Unigen's Valley Super Positioning, as well as 3D Marks, Time Spy Extreme, and Port Royale. And then we're going to run through a couple of different popular gaming titles in two different resolutions, including 1920 by 1080 and an ultra-wide 3440 by 1440. So I'm going to stop talking right now, and you guys take a look at the results. Now, in summary, if we were to generalize the results and overall trends of what we're experiencing with all four of these cards, I would say that the RTX 3060 Ti, 3060, as well as the 2060 are separated by a performance difference anywhere between 12 to 15 percent. And uh, if we take a look at the uh, gap between the uh, 2060 and the GTX 980, I would say that gap is significantly larger, anywhere between uh, 18 to 25 percent at times and if we compare the 980 to the slightly newer gtx 1070 which is a popular comparison for budget used uh, graphics cards you would generally find better performance on the 1070 i just have the 980 lining around and uh, it's been a trusty graphics card that was excellent for 1080p gaming for many years and frankly still is in my opinion uh, but really other than that guys that's really it for this video definitely love to know what you guys think is the best overall graphics card for the money right now on the nvidia side and hopefully we'll find some uh, amd based gpus that can compete in this kind of price point and performance grade so thanks again for watching check out the description down below if you want to know more about our benchmarking pc setup as well as 
more information about the GPUs we used in the video. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you have post notifications turned on and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you later and take care.